everybody. This is Beth at Quilt and Lace. I have Anne behind the camera. Yay. Yay. And I have Rose and Beth in front and of the camera. And Rose with us Hello, today. Everybody. So this is uh, a quilt that uh, Anne and I were working on together. Well, she was working on her jelly roll and yeah. I was working on mine. And a year and uh, a month later. And you got farther than I, I did. I got done. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. Uh, so anyway, um, the Coronet, of course, is a baby lock machine that we sell here at Quilt and Lace. And uh, we still are finishing up our floor model sale. We only have a couple machines left, and the Coronet happens to be one that is a floor model sale that we have a very good price on. Yes. And so uh, since the poor baby sits here um, unoccupied most days, I asked Rose if uh, she would be willing, because Rose is a quilter, uh, would be willing to free motion quilt my quilt for me and show customers when they come in. And of course I thought it would be a great Facebook. So I'm going to let Rose kind of take over here okay. and uh, I'd like you just to kind of share the features of the machine. Okay. But then I want you to, you know, show them how good you are. Okay. So this is the Coronet and this, it comes with this five foot frame and your space you only need basically five by five area to work with. You can do larger quilts right now. This quilt is larger than the frame. So you just fold it over and you just stop at a certain point. When you're done all the way down, then you can unhook it and slide it and do the other section. Um, it has uses the M bobbin so you can wind your own bobbins or use pre-wounds. I myself like to use a lot of pre-wounds. I like using the glide thread, but you can use any of the long arm uh, threads. And it does come with a bobbin winder. It I was just going to ask that. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is stitch regulated. Yep. So you can do it down the line. You can always uh, add robotics, but just remember you only have a little over four foot of space, but you can still do robotics on it. So I'm just doing a small stippling on here, a mandarin for hers, because I like to do that when I know it's going to be a quilt that's going to be used a lot and washed a lot. I like the smaller stitches. So you usually just make your line down here so you know how far you have to go when you're stitching. So you just look over here and say, okay, if I stop somewhere at the bottom of this thing, then I will be fine uh -huh. stitching it. And then when you roll it, you'll start back over here so and just go back and forth. Uh, it has the clamps, it has the short clamps. You can also get, this one does have one of the long clamps with it, but you can get these nice long clamps. This is if the quilt, it's harder if you put the quilt totally out that way, but you can anchor it with these. These are just extra ones are there. You can pop those up there also. Does it but come I, with the bungee? I'm trying to remember yeah, if this the one bungee. Comes. There's a bungee on this end, but I left this open right here, okay. so you just slide the clamp on. These are and pretty these cool. These are the real new push button one, so it can just slide here, uh -huh. and you just pull it tight. Oh, so, good. good. So I'll show you. You know, I did a stitch down to here, so I know it can only go to here. This is your up down needle, and your speed. I usually do about 11 stitches uh -huh. per minute, so it's on the 50 on the speed. This is your speed up speed down and this is your stop start. So I will so you just, like you're driving a car you just do and like I said you can do larger. It depends on how often how much your coat's gonna be used. I always run at an angle and you just do whatever you want. So if you guys can hear Rose, she said she stitches at an angle instead of straight across. Yeah, stay so diagonals. Like back and yeah. forth, back and forth. That way it has a nice flow and doesn't look like I totally just did a, a line. Row, a row, <laughs> right. a row. It just right. fills in. You can always, when you get down here, you can drop down every once a stitch in the other row. So when right. you work on the next row, you just jump up in Kinda there just so fill that everything in there. looks like that is totally finished and there's no stop and start. They're real easy to thread. You just run with the tension. You gotta make sure every once in a while, 
Never put a set up a fan next to your long arm because a <laughs> fan will blow these off the tension. Yeah, good to know. Learn that. Good to know. <laughs> the needle is always the eye is towards you. And when you thread it, there is a hole on these that you have to go down through and then thread it. Uh-huh. Good to Very know. Good, good to any know. Any questions out there? Rose, nope, I know you. we're going to, let's see, Linda hopped on, Connie hopped on, Catherine Miller, She, she and I'm sorry, when we had the machine going, she couldn't hear Rose very well, so oh, so sorry. Okay. We know these things get pretty loud. But you can stop in the store at any time the next two weeks. I'm here every day, so you're welcome to stop in, and I can show you how to run the machine. We also have the smaller machine that's a robotic over there, the... Uh, Quilter 15 by Brothers. Uh -huh. That is also a five foot frame. It also has the robotics and it's got a very good deal on it. Yep. So we have both. Again, and another I can four show model. You both. Or if you want the little sit down to move your fabric yourself, you yeah. can do that. But I prefer to let the machine move the fabric and you move the machine. Well, I've, <laughs> I've got a quick question though, because I know on the dream uh, or the dream frame over there, you yes. can sit down to do it. Can you? Can you manipulate this and lower yes. it so you can yes. sit down if you don't want to right stand? Now it's okay. still, it will still go down about another six inches. Oh, it will. There okay. is chairs that you can get that you, that uh -huh. will, even our horn chairs will let you go yeah. up and down a certain height. So you can sit, especially if you're doing ruler work. With these, you can yeah. buy a ruler base to put on put on here, and you can do ruler work. Oh, good. Good. That's good to know. Um, let's see, Janet hopped on to say hi, and Alma says, hi, ladies. She loves her Dream 15 Pro. Cool. So, yay. Oh, great. Good. Yeah. Yay, Alma. Uh, so, this particular machine does come with the Love of Sewing, which is a four-year uh, service and uh, warranty kind of on the machine if you do something wrong to it. And then it does include that ruler base that Rose was talking about oh, if okay. you want to do uh -huh. ruler work. So uh, some people have told me that they like that ruler base on even when they're doing free motion. It's nice because yeah. it gives you this extra space right here. Oh, so, okay. So you know, you, you're sitting here, so this drops down. Oh, so, so the base. Uh, base it's nice to just leave it on. All right, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. a good feature it on it. keeps stuff flat. Oh, good. And then the other thing is that um, I'm doing 20% off the roller bar. So this roller bar here is in addition to the coronet. Makes it look more like a long arm, I yes. think, when it has this. So that you can roll it up as you go. So, do you like the roller bar? Yes, or not? the roller bars are great. And this, with this extra bar here, I have roller bar on mine, but I don't have this extra bar. So this makes it where you always can see that this is nice and straight. Now, I float a lot, but it does come with the leaders on here. The uh -huh. leader is not on this bar yet. It would just just velcros on. I, then you would just fashion your your backing to your leader here and just roll it. And then you just roll the two here until you get it nice and taut before you put your top and your batting on. Nice. Okay. Great. Great. Well, Rose, I appreciate yeah. you doing this for yeah. me. You're welcome. Not only Facebook, but free motion quilting. <laughs> this quilt. Yes. This will be a Christmas gift. Oh, yay. yay. Okay. Uh, Pat. Uh, Eva had just hopped on to say hey, hi. Hey, Pat. Pat. Hey, Pat. Welcome. Okay, so, Beth, you've got to get back to your event, yeah, Bell, right? We're up. we got one more project to do. Okay, and good. why don't you share with them? Uh, we got the Spooky Soiree. Spooky Soiree is our yeah, next October. event coming up. Yeah. Yep. And then in November, we do the Winter Wonderland. Winter That's Wonderland. Cool. And, and we, December. We just signed up for Kimberbell's newest event. Yay. So, we're excited about that. It's going to be on December 4th on a Saturday. And we are doing, it's called My Punny Valentine, and it's an adorable <laughs> event. We figured a lot of people, since they've been home sewing all summer, they're going to have all their Christmas presents done by the beginning of December. <laughs> well, that's they're going to be ready to move on into next year, and we're going to be ready for you. So we tried to pick an event, a date that was uh, close to when they were launching the event. Good, cool. So Excellent. that was that's really exciting for us. So we're still going strong with Kimberbell. We love their products. and. We love their events. Yeah. So job. on Monday, Marilyn is doing the Hello Pouches yes. class. And I think we've got a thread painting class next week with Laurel. I forget what else is going on next week. Okay. And in the new shop, we do plan to have the um, regalia set up, mm -hmm. the long arm set up. 
so we will have a longer long arm and i will be i will be working in the sebastian shop so i will be gladly to show anyone that would like to see how they operate how to load them how to do the threading and everything perfect. on them oh fun perfect. that's fun. wonderful okay so uh, we're shooting maybe the middle of october still i'm still crossing our fingers I'm okay gonna be headed down there tomorrow so, uh, you are good. Yeah. So All right. Hopefully, I'll do a little video for Facebook Live down there tomorrow. Oh, fun. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna sign off for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Yep. Everybody thank you. Have a good night. Thank yep. you, Rose. Have a, good have a great Saturday. Okay. Thank you, Beth. Bye. Bye.